I want to salute you and thank you for your courage and your style of leadership. I had cause to advise myself on Sunday when I was speaking in a Thanksgiving service to mark the 31st anniversary of my state. And I will recommend to you the book of Nehemiah, which for me should be the rule book of all leaders in our time. The book of Nehemiah has 13 chapters. Seven of those chapters are dedicated to rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. And the last chapters are dedicated to spiritual rebuilding of the people of Jerusalem. But the book of Nehemiah opens with a very sad narrative that as Nehemiah stood up to rebuild in chapter number four. Two gentlemen called Sambalat and Tobias were busy criticizing Nehemiah, writing petitions, and they waged war against Nehemiah. What was their problem? That Nehemiah decided to rebuild Jerusalem. So as you set to rebuild River State, you will have two sets of people, those who of River State. But also remember that you have Sambalat and Tobias. The narrative in the book of Nehemiah is so interesting that in chapter number six, Jeremiah had continued to rebuild until it was getting very close to a point when all the holes and cracks on the wall was rebuilt. At that time, Sambalat and Tobias decided to frighten Nehemiah. They waged war. They did everything to make sure that Nehemiah will become afraid and stop rebuilding. And the Bible knows that their aim was to make sure that Nehemiah's hands will be weak so that he will not finish. And you begin to imagine that here comes a man who has come to do good. And you have people that are determined that that good will not reach the people. Nehemiah responded with a prayer. And that is your prayer today. And that prayer is that, O oh Lord, strengthen the hands of Yeson Wike so that he will finish for the good of people of River State. In Jesus' name. God answered that prayer. But he did not deter Sambalat and Tobias. Because in verse 19, the Bible declares that all the walls had been rebuilt and the people were happy. Just about the time that crown of glory should be placed on the head of Nehemiah. At that moment in verse 19, Sambalat and Tobias were still writing letters. In today's world, as you are finishing strong, Sambalas and Tobias are in the internet also writing because there was no internet at that time. They were writing letters, but today there is internet. A lot of people will continue to battle even as you have completed the assignments you have set for yourself. So do not be discouraged because discouragement for every leader is a choice. Let your choice be that you will not be discouraged. God, who has given you this assignment at a critical time like this, will strengthen your hands to his glory and to the benefit of the people of River State. Let me conclude by advising us in Nigeria to focus on the message and not the messenger. If you do not like Yes on Week, please ponder a little bit and ask, is there substance in what he is saying for many years before now, we have focused on the messenger. And at times, we follow messengers without a good message. Time has come for us to listen to the dictates of the message and not focus attention on the messenger. Because many people preach what they are not. But I'm sure and confident that God Almighty will see us through in all of this in Jesus' name.